Hi folks, Stevie here. So the machine that I measure all other motorbikes by was my Yamaha GTS 1000. It's the one bike that I've always regretted selling. So when one appeared on eBay at a low starting price of £1,000, I decided I was having a punt on it. I waited nine days for the auction to close and in the final few minutes bidding was still only at £1,200. Now with the Honda, the KTM and a long running project bike, I needed another motorcycle like a hole in the head. But if I could secure it for around £1,500, that would be like an investment, right? I'm with you on this one. So in the final few seconds of the auction, I threw in a bid at just over £1,500. <laughs> oh well, you win some, you lose some. Sadly, bidding continued to just over £1,700. But that's not the end of the story. It turns out the cockwomble that won the auction failed to honour his bid. The seller, Nick, reached out to me and we agreed a deal. So I'm flying down from Glasgow to Bristol to go and pick it up. Nick's also keen that the bike goes to somebody who appreciates the GTS for what it is and keeps it on the road. Too many of these get squirrelled away and left unused. So in the tradition of Vice Grip Garage, the question is, can a guy ride an unseen, 30-year-old, 75,000-mile motorcycle, 400 miles home? Keep tuned to find out. So here it is in all its glory. Although it's just about to turn over 75,000 miles, it's only done a couple of thousand miles a year for the last few years, and there's been no advisories on the MOT since 2012. There's plenty of life in the front and rear tyres, the chain is in good order and Nick done an oil and filter change prior to putting it up for sale. Having flown down here, I'm fully committed to the deal, so there's no test rides, I'm just getting straight on the bike and heading for home. The GTS feels exactly as I remember. The clutch bite is right out at the end of the lever's travel, but good grief, this thing is super smooth. That's uh, Clifton Suspension Bridge. I can't pass through Bristol and not go for a look. What's the plan? Well, I don't really have one. It's six o'clock in the evening, so I'm just going to find my way to the M5, point this thing north, and nurse it until I run out of daylight.
Well, that's more than enough motorway miles for any reasonable person. I've stopped off at Devil's Bridge in Kirby Longsdale for a wee drop of breakfast. This is where all the local bikers meet. I'm going to head off in that direction, head for Windermere, and then go over the Kirksloan Pass. Now given that this motorcycle is all about its hub centre steering, this journey began at Clifton Suspension Bridge in Bristol and finishes at the Clyde Arc, the Squinty Bridge, another suspension bridge in Glasgow. I was amazed at how smooth it was and how tight the handling was given its age and mileage. I reckon I've bagged a cracker. I need to thank Nick for getting in touch when the other bidders dropped out and for all your help during the course of the sale. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, you can help the channel to grow by hitting the subscribe button. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.